Hey, what is up guys, DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we have some huge news for My Hero Ultra Impact. Now, originally I was trying to wait until the maintenance was over to do this video and go over all the new stuff that is coming into the game. However, they extended maintenance <laughs> to like a, a time where they don't have it determined yet, but that's fine. It makes sense because it is a very huge update for the game, okay? So we have a bunch of stuff to go over. Before we go over any of the new stuff being added to the game, let's talk about something that we've already known was coming for a little bit, and that is the new Climax Battle. The new Climax Battle versus Gentle Criminal is going to be starting on the 28th. Previously, we didn't know when it was going to be starting and it is going to be an int type boss that means you are going to want to get your strength characters ready and maybe mount lady would be a helpful addition if you haven't pulled her yet it might be a good time to summon for her because she could potentially help you out and so get ready for that climax battle coming out on the 28th now with that said let's move on to the next bit of information this is actually huge information guys Okay, for the next bit of information, this is a screenshot taken directly from the App Store for My Hero Ultra Impact, and these are the things that they are currently adding into the game as maintenance is going on as I'm recording this video. If I know any more besides this, we have pictures or updates or things like that, I will be doing another video on this. Like I said, I was trying to wait till the end of the maintenance, uh, however, the maintenance just got extended, so I figured I'll do a video on this. All right, so I want you guys to know what is coming. First off, this could make you mad, this could make you happy. Personally, as a whale, as somebody who is always looking for more content to grind and things to do in the game, this makes me personally happy. But they are adding a bunch of new stuff to the characters as if the ability boards, the basic ability boards weren't enough. They are now doing a new DX piece route in the ability board. So you know how you have the basic green ability boards? Well, we're not dealing with that anymore. We're switching over to the purple piece ability boards where it costs all those pieces and they are giving you a DX route now for that ability board. Not sure what that's gonna entail. I imagine pieces and some new items maybe. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know if they're gonna make the original piece route cost less like they did with the basic board because it already costs so many pieces, right? To get your characters to level 100. I don't know if this is gonna now make your max character level 105, 110. I don't, I don't know guys, uh, but it is something interesting and it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. And then the next thing they are doing to character is adding new unique EX auto skills okay so that means we are gonna have new EX auto skills combinations and things like that so EX auto skills are those skills that give you like max extra max HP or extra crit rate or extra speed to your characters things like that that you equip with the helmets so we're getting some new unique EX auto skills I'm not sure what they're gonna be it'll be interesting to see hopefully some cool new ones uh, but <laughs> like I said, we just don't know yet. We just don't know yet. All right, and then new advanced level up limit break. So if all that wasn't enough, they're giving us, you know how you do the advanced leveling with like the speed jellies and the health uh, pots and the uh, power proteins, whatever they're all called. I don't even know the names of them all off the top of my head, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, they are now giving us <laughs> an advanced level up limit break. However, that's going to work. I don't know if it's just going to cost more of those speed jellies or if they're going to throw in another advanced leveling item that all of a sudden we have to earn up. I, we literally don't know anything, but they're doing something with this too. So you're going to be able to get your characters, presumably characters, HP, speed and power up even more than you already have. Currently it's set to like 1,100 and uh, 100, I think. So yeah. Okay, and then difficulty level extreme added to boss challenge events. Okay, so if you don't know what boss challenge events are, those are the hero lottery events where you have to do the hero lottery and you had to repeat with the boss tickets, just go through hard or ultra a bunch of times over and over and over again, and you could not skip them. Okay, so they're adding an extra difficulty to that. So beyond ultra, it sounds like they're going to add a difficulty called extreme to give us a little more of a challenge, hopefully better rewards as, as always, you know, better rewards come with more of a challenge. So that's good for anyone looking for hero gems or whatever they may reward us with. That's awesome. And then the second line here says use of skip tickets and boss challenge events is now allowed, which is going to be phenomenal. That is a huge major uh, like life improvement to the game and it's gonna be really 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 nice to be able to like once you three star the bosses go back and just use skip tickets instead of having to repeat it over and over again it'll make it a little bit quicker to grind out those hero lottery events which will be nice 
Here's the part I find the most interesting, honestly, and that is the opening of past stages, rankings and VE tower, as well as preparations made for the addition of level SS. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it sounds like maybe they're holding off. I was thinking it has been a little bit since they added a new VE tower stage. Like I felt like it wasn't coming up. We hadn't heard anything about it as quickly. And I'm assuming this is why. It sounds like they're gonna reopen VE towers. They're gonna stop making them for a little bit. I could be wrong, they could make more. Uh, and they're gonna go back at SS difficulty, which is insane. And so yeah, we're, I don't know if, it says opening of past stages. I assume they're not gonna open all past stages at once. They're probably gonna go one by one and say, okay, we're gonna do SS for this one. We're gonna reopen it. Now you can replace into it. And then next month after that, they're gonna reopen another one with the SS difficulty, replace into it, so on and so forth. I imagine they won't do it all at once, but for anyone that didn't get to originally play the VE tower back when all those original VE towers were there, because it was JB exclusive and not global, here is global chance to go back to go back and play those VE tower stages and rank in for the first time which is nice okay and then lastly here for the notice we have the revamping of the awakening missions revamping of the awakening missions I'm not sure if they're gonna give everybody new awakening missions to try out or if it's just gonna be for new players I assume the revamping of awakening missions obviously has to do with the addition of all the new stuff to the characters all the new advanced level up limit breaking the new piece route then all the new basic boards they've added with the story so they're probably just going to revamp them to make them more geared towards what the characters are looking like now and make it easier for new players to get their first character up to like board 13 and stuff like that that's what i'm guessing is going to happen i don't think everybody's going to get a new awakening mission would be nice if we did but I don't think that's how that's going to work. Anyways, guys, huge updates coming to My Hero Ultra Impact. I've been saying it for a while. They have just been on the ball with their updates. I appreciate so much their communication with us in these updates there. Them going through and listening to player feedback. Whenever you see those surveys, make sure you do those surveys. And yeah, I am really happy about this personally, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I know everybody might not be as happy as I am about the addition of extra stuff to do to get your characters leveled up to max level, but let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.